Hello everybody, this is Petra Butler. Now in the last couple of videos I actually showed you how I got this. I also showed you the NAS accessories that I have along with the stuff that I got with the front loader NES. I also showed you how to hook up your front loader NES using AV cables. Now there's only one more thing to show and that's the NES games. Today, another episode of what I got. Now this is my NES games collection. Unfortunately, I only have 12 cartridges and 13 games. I could have had more if some of my NES games weren't lost or stolen. Unfortunately that happens sometimes. And by the way, I have not gotten an NES game in a very long time. All of these were either gotten in the 80s or 90s. So Let's get started on the NES games. Now of course you already saw this game when I was showing how to hook up front loader NES using AV cables to people and uh, this is basically an awesome game and you're basically riding an RC car or truck depending on the vehicle and uh, it's such an awesome racing title I definitely recommend this for sure this is the second copy I've ever owned so this game is Will Fortune Family Edition I know that Aubrey S 1987 has it along with a couple others this is my least favorite game, but it's not bad though. So, I do recommend this for sure if you are a Will Fortune fan. If you're not a video game fan, uh, sorry. If you're not a game show video game fan, then I recommend that you pass on this, all right? That's Will Fortune Family Edition. Now, this of course is Trojan. It's based off the arcade game. It's a good game. It's not fantastic, but I still recommend it. So, pick this one up if you can find it. Trojan. This is The Goonies 2. Even though there was no movie called The Goonies 2, there was no sequel to The Goonies. What Konami did was basically make, make a game off of The Goonies characters. And uh, it's a good game also, and I do recommend it. It still has the sticker on it, but I kept on trying to uh, remove the sticker without no luck. So, sorry about the sticker, folks. This is an awesome game, The Guardian Legend. I definitely recommend this for sure. It's a very underrated game. Unfortunately, the only downside to it is the password system. But besides that it's just fine and uh, I definitely recommend this game for sure it's a very underrated game I will say that for sure and uh, this didn't do too well when it was first sold to uh, stores so uh, try this try this one out for sure you'll definitely like it now this of course is Willow and I will tell you that this is one of the few movie games that's actually awesome and uh, it's mostly a role-playing game but it's executed very well by Capcom they did a nice job with this game they even did an arcade game called Willow and it was basically different from this but this is still an awesome game and uh, I definitely recommend it so pick it up and I've had this for a very long time my mother uh, got me the got me this game back in the late 1980s I believe I'm not sure I think it was released in 89 but I'm not so sure so I definitely recommend this for sure and it actually got me interested in the movie because uh, I knew about the movie before this release and uh, I never really got to see the movie as much so but then I watched it and it, it's a good movie it's a good movie for sure and I definitely recommend this game Gauntlet 2, one of the best Gauntlet games on the NES for sure. 
it's well executed by Mindscape. They did a very nice job. And it's mostly like the arcade version. Gauntlet was good, but Gauntlet 2 is even better. And I definitely recommend you check this one out. Definitely highly recommend it. And of course, Mega Man 3 is highly recommended as well because it's one of the best Mega Man games along with Mega Man 2 and the first Mega Man for sure. I don't have those, but I'm thinking about getting those in the near future. So, this of course is Mega Man 3 and uh, highly recommended. This of course is DuckTales and unfortunately what I did and I shouldn't have done was a long time ago I wanted to see what the uh, this thing looked like without the sticker and unfortunately I should have never have done that I learned my lesson I did learn my lesson I will get another copy of DuckTales in the near future by the way this is an awesome game and uh, I do recommend that you try the pogo jump because the pogo jump is what helps this game. If you don't know how to do the pogo jump, you're basically screwed. I just wanted to tell you that right now, and that's my advice to you, to anybody that's playing DuckTales for sure. DuckTales, highly recommended. This of course is Metroid, and I highly recommend that you get this. There is also a second cover to this game, but I don't have that one. This is actually the original cover. Pretty cool, huh? And I highly recommend that you get this game. And if you can find it, buy it. Now this, of course, is the packing game with Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. And uh, this is actually the original cover. There's also a cover with the seal of quality on it. But, of course, I don't have that one. I actually have the one with the original cover. And this is highly recommended for sure. Unfortunately, I can't play Duck Hunt anymore because I don't have the light gun. And I don't have the right TV for it, so can't play it. Super Mario Brothers, awesome, and I can play that anytime. Along with you, you can play it anytime as well. If you get this, you can also get Super Mario Brothers separate if you like. Highly recommend it for sure. Buy it. And finally, we got Super Mario Brothers 3, and it's the best Mario game on the NES for sure. And uh, it really sets it apart from the other Super Mario Brothers games that came before. So, this is definitely recommended, and you can probably find this cheap on eBay. And uh, if you see it, buy it. It's definitely awesome, and it definitely sets it apart from other Super Mario Brothers games. So, highly recommend it. And that's basically it. That's basically it for all my games. Unfortunately, I could have had more, but they were either lost or stolen. And I'm going to tell you about that story where uh, my NES games got stolen at one time. And uh, you'll basically find out in another video. So, But for right now... That's basically my NES collection in a nutshell. Well, that is all the videos for the NES for now. Hopefully there'll be more in the near future. Hopefully I'll get some more NES games as well. And I'm also going to talk about that story with the power pad as well in the near future. I just don't know when it's going to come. But hopefully it will pretty soon. Alright? And hopefully I'll also do a review of the game handler as well. That's pretty much it for this video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed these sets of videos for the NES. Hopefully I'll do more in the near future. Alright. For right now, peace out to you all. Blog you later.